Welcome to CIHT Podcasts. All CIHT members belong to one of our 13 regions and nations, which are all run by hugely dedicated volunteers. This enables the institution to offer a wide range of local CPD and social events, as well as ensuring that our members are never too far from a CIHT expert. We recently had the pleasure of speaking to a number of our regional officers about why they decided to get involved with the institution, including Karen McShane, Chair of the Northern Ireland Region. I'm a Chartered Engineer. I've been a member with CIHT for over 25 years. I currently run my own um, civil engineering consultancy practice dealing with transport planning and highway engineering design. I belong to the Northern Ireland region and I'm currently the chair of that region, um, a role that I thoroughly enjoy. Um, Some of the things that we do within our region is we try to look at different grades of, of membership. So we have a very active students group. And some of the events that we run this year are things like a Formula One challenge where we talk to them about skid resistance but actually bring them onto a go-karting track and run some competitive events. We also do a lot of university visits to try and encourage the younger members to join the institution and to provide a lot more background about what we actually do. We look at um, various CPD events and lectures and professional development seminars aimed very much at our graduates and people who are within their Mm -hmm. mid-career. Other experiences that we have, um, we've just organised a study tour this year. We were in Venice looking at different modes of travel, and that was a very enjoyable social aspect to um, coming together with other engineers as well as providing technical merits and presentations on flood defences and other things that impact travel in that particular region. Um, The other issue that we get involved with is in strategic engagement with government and senior civil servants. And particularly as we're based in Northern Ireland, um, we have our own local government sometimes, and we try to work with them to educate them on what the key issues are for society and how we can actually provide public benefits to that society. My name is Mamli Okutu and I work for Skanska. I'm part of the East of England CIHT region. Um, I am the Young Professionals Chair for the East of England and I became a regional officer because I felt that it helped me to network and also um, to be able to help um, young professionals and in a way to get professionally qualified because I also um, work as a reviewer for the CIHT. So I felt that through that, I'll be able to help more young people get professionally qualified. In terms of what we do in our region, what is very popular is the Cambridge Conference. So every year we hold a Cambridge Conference where we have um, key note speakers on activities which are relevant to transport so this year on our con- uh, on our conference, we discussed the east-west connectivity, where we talked about roads such as the A14 construction, um, connecting um, waterways, and also rail connections between the east of England um, region. So my name is Philip Santos, and I'm a highways project manager for WSP. Um, my home region is the the West Midlands region, which is a, a fantastic and really active region. Um, I chose to become a CIHT regional officer um, mainly because I'm I'm passionate about my job. I love my job. I'm really passionate about the industry, and since uh, my my da- my days at university. Um, I was kind of encouraged to get involved with the institution as uh, as much as I can. So I've been uh, I've been a member of the the CIHT for about nine years now, and this year I took on the role of secretary for our region. Um, as I say, I'm passionate about my career, and I'm really excited by what the CIHT can can offer myself uh, in in my role going forward with the uh, exciting. Uh, a potential arrival of autonomous vehicles and uh, and smart technology. Um, one of the key things within the West Midlands region that I'm particularly pleased and proud about is the establishment of some of our subcommittees. So within the West Midlands, we're, we're quite a large region, but we're very Birmingham-centric. So one of the decisions that the previous chair has taken 
was to set up our sub-regions, uh, reaching out to some of the areas in our membership which may struggle to, uh, due to work commitments, to, to travel into Birmingham City Centre. So that's been a fantastic achievement. Um, we're, we're on the early stages of that, um, but I'm very uh, optimistic and, and hopeful for the future on how that might uh, develop into something extremely fruitful that we can then bring back to main committee and share with uh, all of the other regions around the UK. So hi, my name's Ed Downer. Uh, I work for Mott MacDonald as a transport planner, and I recently moved across to the Yorkshire and Humber region. Uh, I became a CRHT officer about seven years ago now, um, and the reason I did that was because I wanted to try and organise some more events that were, ca- that were catered to my own interests, um, and organise more events that would get people like me uh, involved in the institution. Um, and I suppose one of the success stories that we've taken forward into our region now is that um, you know we're trying to um, increase the appeal of the institution to um, younger aged members, uh, particularly people from the educational institutions in Leeds, such as Leeds ITS and Leeds College of Building. Um, so we're hoping to engage with those people and um, you know, rejuvenate the, uh, the committee that we have at the minute um, and get more of those people involved. Thanks for listening. If you would like to get involved with your regional committee, please contact regions at cicht.org.uk for more information.